Clean the hood, YouTube. This is Crazy Samurai. Anyone here bring another video? Today I'm bringing a video on Power Rangers Ninjas deal. Uh, more specifically, the second season of Power Rangers Ninjas deal. Now, as many people know, Power Rangers Ninjas deal hasn't even come out yet. Um, we're, um, we're, we're supposed to be getting it, obviously, the 21st of January, and we're uh, two weeks away. So you know that's not that bad. But um, already, talk has already been showing up about uh, the sequel series, which. People are consider people believe will be refer well they're referring to it right now as uh, Super Ninja Steel, not Ninja Super Steel like Dino Charge where it was Dino Super Charge. In this case, it's going to be uh, at least right now what they've said is is right now they're going with Super Ninja Steel that, that could obviously change to Ninja Super Steel, but we'll see. Um, anyway, there was talk about cameos. Now you may have to may more remember something. So this season is the 24th season Ninja Steel. The next season, since they're doing, you know, they've been doing the uh, the two season thing now since Samurai, where they've done Samurai, Super Samurai, uh, Mega Force, Super Mega Force, and Dino Charge, Dino Super Charge. Um, Ninja Steel is not is not any exception of that, where they're going to be doing that, obviously, as I'm saying. So the second season, you know, is going to be the 25th season of the show. Uh, 25 years, big deal, obviously. And, you know, the 20th anniversary, they had the Legendary Battle where they brought in a lot of cameos. Also, just in general, during Super Mega Force, they had a whole bunch of cameo rangers that showed up. Um, you know, so uh, they, they're they um, supposedly going to have some cameos as well uh, that people have been talking about. Um Apparently, not that long ago, Peter Sederoso, uh, you know, Yoshi Sederoso's brother, Yoshi, for those of you that know, um, played Coda in Power Rangers Dino Charge, the Blue Ranger. Um, but obviously, P Peter Sederoso is going to be playing uh, Preston, the Blue, um, uh, Preston uh, Thien, uh the Blue uh, Ninja Steel Ranger. So, um, it is, so, so apparently he's been meeting up with certain previous rangers now this could just be by chance it could also have been that like they they're gonna actually be cameos in the mo in the tv show and you may be wondering why why would that be happening now well apparently they've already finished filming the entire first season of power rangers ninja steel already and they're starting to do power rangers uh super uh, super ninja steel um so supposedly cameos are going to be happening since the 25th anniversary and so certain actors have been showing up alongside Peter. Um, actors like, um, we've already known that Kelston Henderson is going to be showing up in this, which is great, but um, apparently uh, Peter Sederoso has, has been seen with Nick Sampson, the actor who played Chip, the Mystic Force Yellow Ranger, so that would be very cool. Chip obviously, you know, uh, uh, Nick Sampson is very different looking than he was during the time of the show. Um, so th that would be really cool to see Mystic Force get some appreciation, which, you know, during the, um, Legendary Battle, I, I, I believe, uh, no one represented that. Maybe, I, I don't think Xander was, but yeah. So Nick, which would be very cool in Japan, uh, Nick's equivalent was, was a super cool character. Um, Jared Blackston, who played Prince Philip, um, has been, in, has been seen with Peter Sedaroso, the actor who played Prince Philip in Power Rangers Dino Charge and Dino Supercharge. So, um, you know, that that would be cool too. Um, and he was the Graphite Ranger. Uh, Milo Cawthorn, the actor who played Ziggy in Power Rangers RPM as the Green Ranger, was seen with Peter Sedaroso, which really gives, which also gives some insight. So RPM getting some representation would also be really cool um, to get that kind of representation of RPM and Mystic Force. Um, also, um, he was spotted in Auckland with his own brother, Yoshi Sedaroso. Um, so theoretically, they might just have those four, they might have five, they might have six. It's not very clear yet, but, but what that means is you, we could theoretically be getting two actors from Dino Charge, a Mystic Force actor, and an RPM actor, and hopefully some other actors as well. Personally, I would say that's pretty awesome. And then when you have Kelson on top of that, which represents SBD, um, that's pretty awesome. Uh, I mean, really, Kelson represents a whole bunch of seasons, but Kelson's most well known for playing Boom on SBD. But yeah, that'd be very cool. It is also interesting because they're all like um, Disney era actors, but like late Disney for the most part, or well, late and early, because I guess SBD is like semi-early. Semi uh, but yeah, 
Uh, that's very cool. Uh, I would, I would like to see this. I'm very curious as to who else could be playing. Um, judging from this list, if they're gonna go along the lines of doing a lot of Disney actors um, that are more recent, um, maybe someone from Samurai would represent uh, their season. I would, I'm, I'm like, I would think at least one red would show up of some sort uh, from a recent season. Um, maybe Alex Hartman. Um, who played uh, the Red Samurai Ranger? Um, could be someone else. Could be someone from Super Mega Forest would show up. I don't know who would it, would it be. Uh, maybe John Loudermilk uh, or um, I'm forgetting uh, Azium possibly. You know, it's hard to say, but uh, I would be very curious to see what they would do. Could be Orion. That would be neat, too. Um, especially since they're traveling in space and all that. And that would actually be a really good, logical one. Especially since it's like, oh, yeah, he's a space traveler. So maybe they would encounter each other through space travel. Um, you know, a little hard to really say for a fact. But I uh, do want to say this now. I'm actually looking forward to the season more and more so um and knowing that that they'll be doing cameos for the 25th anniversary is good to note because um legendary battle didn't go over as well as people wanted it to be and hopefully if they choose to do this they do it right and they take their time with it and they're not going to rush it understand this now i'm not saying that that i'm um, looking for them to be like perfect but i want to but i'm hoping that they really take some time with with uh that season and really develop it out and and, and since now they're not trying to do two seasons where they had to do that with Super Mega Force, where they split uh, Mega Force and Super Mega Force for two Sentai seasons into uh, one show that functioned as two separate seasons, I'm glad that they're not going to be doing it that way where they're rushing it as much, where in this case they can actually develop the characters while still throwing in cameos. I just hope that whatever they choose to do, it's done well and it's a fun season. And if they choose to do a special kind of episode similar to the Legendary Battle, they really think out how they want to do it and they develop it well. Obviously, many people are hoping that maybe the uh, trio of actors who played the Ninja Storm, um, Red, Blue, and Yellow, Yellow uh, Return, which I personally would say that would be obviously very wise on their part. Um, to do that, but uh, I can't say anything for sure. Of course, for those of you that know, uh, Blue was played by Sally Martin, um, and uh, Yellow is Glenn McC uh, McMillan, uh, and uh, Red is Pua uh, Mag Magasova. Um, and each of them have actually been doing a lot of stuff. Uh, I think that uh, like each of them have been doing so much acting in New Zealand, so it's not, it wouldn't be surprising. And I mean, it's not like they're having to bring in actors from a huge distance away. They all live in New Zealand. They're all New New Zealanders, I believe. They're either in New Zealand or they're in Auckland. So I mean, it's not like they would be really having to travel that far. Um, but it's a matter of whether or not they manage to get them. Hopefully, at least one of them returns. That would be very nice. Uh, preferably Pua, but we'll see. I just think that if they can get at least those three to return, if not, like, the majority of the cast, that'd be amazing. Um, you know, that's obviously the season that most people want. People also would love the Alien Rangers, but at the same time, the Alien Rangers are, that's asking a lot. But then again, traveling through space, so why not? You know, see, that's something that's kind of interesting about Ninja 2, is that they are space travelers in a way. Um, so theoretically, if they want to, they could definitely get the Alien Rangers. It would be odd. And plenty of kids would look at this and say, what the heck are those people? And fans would be like, oh my god, that's so cool. But, um, yeah, no, it's totally feasible. Especially since they're uh, since they're traveling on spaceships and stuff like that. And it sounds like they're space travelers a little bit more so. So, uh, hopefully they do some really cool things. Um, I'm kind of hoping that they don't choose to get someone from MMPR. JDF. Uh, <coughs> uh, you know, I really don't want to have him show up again because... I feel like he shows up in everything. I'm not saying that that would be a problem necessarily, but I feel like we've had way too much representation of him. And I mean, he really had a small role in Legendary Battle. It's sort of like, let's get someone else. Like, do what we did, do what they did with Johnny Young Bosch, where they brought him in and made him like the the leader for that. Like, get someone cool, but not necessarily JDF. Um, it would be cool to see, obviously, um, Austin 
or someone from another season entirely different um, but just someone that's cool that like people can say oh yeah that's awesome uh, it would be nice if it were, if we we just got all new actors like all actors that weren't featured in legendary battle preferably I'm not saying that any of them aren't cool but i feel like it would be nice to see some actors like we're get, like we've so far heard about that aren't that weren't necessarily featured and weren't really talked about during the time of legendary battle you know it's nice that we're hearing about ziggy or it's nice that we're hearing about chip you know that's what i'm feeling but anyway please remember to leave your comments below telling what you guys think do you guys uh like this what uh, actors do you hope get shown up and do you think that these are legitimate or do you think that there are other actors that will show up or do you think that this is entirely fake and they'll do something else do you think that they'll do something similar to legendary battle if so how do you think they'll do it uh leave your comments below and i'd love to know your guys opinions on this um are you guys looking forward to ninja steel and also this super ninja steel season leave your comments below and i'll see you guys in the next video something guys check my instagram facebook youtube twitter and uh Facebook, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Send to them, guys. Bye-bye.